one of the things that's important to remember is that antioxidants can have bad side effects. And in fact, there was a very large uh, trial conducted, clinical trial, um, in lung cancer, and it was found that certain categories of antioxidant supplements actually increase the rate of these cancers occurring instead of decreasing it. Uh, the reasons for that are not fully known. It may be the particular form these chemicals were in. It may be the doses they were uh, taken at, chemicals and vitamins. I use that term broadly. Um, but there have been proven and documented deleterious effects from taking too much or the wrong kinds of supplements. This needs to be taken in a very balanced context, though, of course. The uh, use of a daily vitamin uh, or a low dose of a supplement is not going to be a problem if it's done in a prudent fashion. Um, I think where people get into trouble is taking uh, too much thinking that it might be better. Uh, there is an interesting series of studies in the medical literature that I think is worth mentioning on the value of selenium as a supplement for the prevention of cancer. Selenium is a uh, mineral. It's a very widely available in uh, plants and uh, soil, and it's in a lot of the foods that we eat. Um, but depending on the area of the country that you live in, if the soil is deficient in selenium, the food you're eating may similarly be deficient in selenium. Over the long term, a selenium deficiency can predispose to cancer by making those natural compounds in the body that get rid of oxygen free radicals and reactive oxygen unable to work. So selenium supplementation has been shown to decrease the rate of several cancers uh, when done uh, over a period of years on a daily basis. And I think that this is something that most people would probably find useful.